Hello Primary 6 Today we are going to explain the second lesson in science The second lesson is talking about low of levers What is the law of levers? The law of levers is the mathematical equation that explains the relation between the effort force and the resistance force So, if I wanted to explain the relation between the effort force and the resistance force So we use the law of levers the law of levers is effort force times its r equal resistance force times its r if i ask you what is the law of levers it is effort force times its r equal to the resistance force times its r what is the definition of the effort force effort force is the distance between effort force and fulcrum the effort force arm is the distance between effort force and fulcrum and the resistance force arm is the distance between resistance force and fulcrum so the effort force arm is the distance between effort force and fulcrum and resistance force arm is the distance between resistance force and fulcrum take care of that be attention when when effort force equal to resistance arm so the effort force equal resistance so the lever it doesn't conserve effort if the two arms of the effort force and resistance force are equal the lever doesn't conserve effort if the effort force arm is longer than resistance arm so the effort force is smaller than resistance so the lever conserve effort if the resistance arm is larger than force arm so the resistance is smaller than force or the force is larger than resistance so the lever doesn't conserve effort okay we know that the force is measured in newton while the force arm is measured in centimeter or meter problem number one the exerted force of the first class lever equal 500 newton and the length of its arm is 20 cm is affected by resistance with value of 200 newton find the arm of resistance if i want the arm of resistance the, ro the law is effort force times its arm equal resistance force times its arm so resistance arm equal 500 times 20 over 200 equal 50 cm problem number two the length of the fourth arm of a third class lever is 5 and the length of the arm of resistance is 15 if the resistance has a value of 300 newton calculate the value of affecting force the effort force equal 300 times 15 dividing 5 equal 900 newton okay how we can conserve the effort force we had three cases in the first class lever in the first class lever we know that the fulcrum is between the effort force and the resistance force so if the resistance arm is larger than the force arm the lever in this case it don't conserve effort if the resistance arm is larger than the effort arm so the lever doesn't conserve effort if the force arm is equal to resistance arm also in this case it doesn't conserve effort so when it will conserve effort it will conserve effort when the force arm is larger than the resistance arm if the force arm is larger than the resistance arm as in the third case it will conserve effort so in the first class lever it conserve effort only in one case if the force arm is larger than the resistance arm what about the second class lever the second class lever conserve effort in all cases because it has the resistance between the fulcrum and effort force 
if I ask you, give reasons. The second class lever conserves the effort force, or give reasons. The second class lever have mechanical benefit because the force arm is always longer than the resistance arm. So the force is smaller than the resistance, so it a conserve effort. What about the third class lever? In the third class lever, the levers doesn't conserve effort or don't conserve effort because the resistance arm always longer than the effort force arm. So the effort force is always bigger than the resistance force. So we say that it don't conserve effort. Thanks for you.